in this file here, which is a simple text file, I've got just the x, y coordinates and the hydrocarbon values. Now it can be helpful to have a visual representation of these values in a, in a 3D or 2D content plot so you can look at how things change over the map area. Now you can do this with ridding in past, but the results are not always satisfactory. Now this here, quick read, is an option. It is free as you can see up there and it does a better job of representing these data visually. Uh, you can see if you're looking while I'm talking there that you won't be able to access the help inside quick read itself. You'll need to come here and access it online. Now I'm going to take you through the stages of using it but be aware I only started using this about 24 hours ago so I've got to hunt around a bit to find things. The first thing is you'll need the data set up something like this x, y and then the environmental variable you wish to plot. I'm going here with hydrocarbon. If you want to do all you'll have to have four separate files. This is a tab separated file. You can see the cursor jumping there. That's because there's a tab in there. Uh, you can use a comma space as well. The program will accept those. And it's a text file. So before I bring the data in, I wanted to edit the input options. And now this is really quite handy because if I click reverse X and Y on data input there, it will plot things properly so that the samples will look the same in the same locations. Then I'll go and input scattered data points because I've got data points scattered across the area and metric is the option and here's that file I was looking at. And it's brought them in and already done some things. Now to get it looking better we need to start fiddling around with a few things and it will take me a bit of a while to do this because I'm not yet all familiar with this. So on a 3D surface, okay that's better. I want that, so data points on and colored. So that is now starting to look a lot better. Uh, it's got gaps in here which we'll fix shortly. Um, and edit all options. Anything else I want to do here? Yes, data point options. I want to put on the Z coordinate. So that will be the actual hydrocarbon value. Uh, and I don't think I need to fiddle with any of the other things. I can put grid lines on too. Uh, that's up to you. So now I can see the actual hydrocarbon values on there. Now to move this around, it's cursor keys and control and right and left will rotate. So let me rotate. So now you can see I've got samples on the site with high levels of pollutant and control off to the side, sample site with high levels of pollutant, control off to the side, sample site and controls off to the side. So that's the north platform that's on its own and these are the two south ones. Now let's keep going. Um, and I just have to fun one around here a bit so I don't think I'll fiddle with that. Uh, these ones affect some scaling and here undefined grid locations to zero what you can actually do is set them to a small value like two because there are lots of zeros through the area but there are not all and there we go isn't that looking nice big water pollution up here there is a little bit showing down here at the controls but relatively small amounts compared to the platforms, or actually it's just south of the platforms. Uh, dee 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 dee. Grid generation, grid line coordinates, let me put this. Right, this one here is the other one. If I get it start at naught, 
uh, and you can leave that alone and change it. And end at 100. That will plot the entire area like that. And that's actually I'm going to rotate a little bit this way. And that way. So now we can nicely see spike pollution there, 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 and a little bit of world showing up in the controls. Um, and that with grid generation options might make that a little bit higher, say, if I'm looking at the control locations, maybe 3.5. There we are. Now, um, to uh, say, to, well, okay, sorry. Right. She's in the cursor keys there. Uh, no, flip the screen. There we go. That's a bit better. I will just use um, print screen or use the um, Gap and print screen app that I've mentioned to get a copy of that. Um, these files here are not ones you can easily do anything much with. And I don't think there's an alternative way of getting a, a copy of this that can, you can easily put into, um, say, Word. Alright, that's it.